Hey guys, it's Prezi Zero. Um, I want to show you something about my Wii that I've just gotten. Uh, first thing to this entire thing is you cannot use uh, Lexar cards. I've tested it, it doesn't work. I'm doing Boot Me, which allows me to boot into a recovery failsafe uh, menu when this card is inserted. Uh, impact cards you can buy at Walmart. I just got a 128 megabyte one. For, I don't know, I think it was like 10 bucks. What you do is you load it into your Wii. I will also send the program for you guys to install it through Homebrew Channel. Um, if you have Homebrew Channel in 4.0, it works. So I'll turn it on. It should do. Oh, okay, didn't do the double flash. But this is what it boots into. Um, you either need a GameCube controller or hit the power and reset button, power to toggle through things, reset to uh, select it. So I'm going to go to the SD card. Oops, picked the wrong one. The gears. And select the first one, which is copy NAND flash to your SD card. And then the one next to it is to uh, reflash your NAND. Then you have the info and all that fun stuff. So let's go to info. And apparently I have 4.0U, boot 1B, boot 2 version 3. is what my system menu is. My NAND usage is 67.8%. So, ooh, I can't use this, but I will be back with a 1 gig card later. But uh, anyways, nonetheless, um, this is what it does. It backs up, and in case if for any reason that your Wii won't boot up or doesn't do it properly anymore, uh, you can use this to recover your NAND, which is the software that's on it. It's basically almost like an ISO image of all the memory on the Wii uh, reformatted. It's pretty much just like the PSP. We need to do a NAND flash to recover with um, the uh, Pandora's battery in case like your flash zero gets all messed up. So, uh, thanks for watching, and hope to update soon on this. Bye.